As they say, I've owned board games and all kinds of things, board game companies and all kinds of things. I did lots of stuff, including Chernobyl and, well, the city anyway, Pry Pit. But we also did games. See the star? All things considered, Mike Tyson's punch out is the most detailed facial animation of any video game. They sneak in there everywhere. Considering that's an entire decade of gaming, that's actually pretty impressive. And if you look back, obviously now the games of the 1980s, especially the 8-bit games of the 1980s, are looked back as retro now, or even quaint or kitschy, depending on what region of the world you're from. You have to consider that nothing like that had ever existed. The Earth has been around yep. for four and a half. Years. Anyway, that's bad. I should do this better. Anyway, though, so but let's take a moment. Um, take a moment. Let's recognize. The 1980s to define exactly. Well, I mean, a few of these game consoles. I think Sega and a few of these game consoles that were actually done by White Star Industries. Um, um, it's it's a little known fact, but. Uh, a long time ago, well, with radio shows and radio programs, um, we also ventured into into um, into what is um, what is uh, gaming experiences and all that other stuff. I mean, some of the first flight simulators and stuff like that. And plus, I wanted games and stuff to to, to be made. And like I said, uh, uh, my people were were unhappy, and there really wasn't much to do other than go out and shoot people, or go out and have sex, or go out and have drugs, or do drugs. So, I mean, humans really in general had a limited range of things that they could do. Um, I mean, other than, other than robbing, stealing, working, having sex, or doing something dangerous, um, or shooting people, like, <clears throat> there really wasn't much for people to do, really, especially children. I mean, pretty boring life, really, actually, when you really think about it. I mean, they're really, I mean, I mean, what are you going to do when you're a child? I mean, other than going and graffitiing walls and stuff like that, or, I don't know, slinging drugs for your pops, um, what else are you going to do? Um, I know it's dark. That's pretty dark, man. It's like, yeah, well, anyway, and then we have Doom and stuff like that. Um, I was a young child, and, you know, still Lucifer Star, actually, but anyway, I'm trying to get games promoted and all that started. Uh, the gaming really wasn't me. I mean, I was really more before, you know, stuff like Disaster Situations, Pry Pit, uh, stuff like that, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it gets all relative and kind of strange where where basically, you know, I want I want games. I wanted games. I want, And I wanted multiplayer games, too. Not just games, but actual multiplayer games. So, um, you know, and all that. And even maybe some golf games, some other stuff. I, I forget exactly when I made made some decisions to send my people this way. But anyway, computer technology. I I thought that the computer technology was possible, you know, uh, more than just claymation stuff like that. Although Mario Brothers, that's someone else. That's another guy. Um, Mario, that's that's some guy. I made way too much money and lived a pretty good lifestyle. I I think. Um, you know, I, pro I believe you saw him in um, Blazing Saddles. He was one of the actors in that. Eh, not too bad of a guy. You know, he liked to drink, he liked to do drugs, and, of course, everyone likes women. Who doesn't like women? But, I mean, and, you know, I mean, but that's that's fine. You know, I didn't really care about care about how, how many women my, my, my people had or my actors. And, and I really, you know... And and to the most part, like I didn't really care about a lot of things, like 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 as far as like um, like even how young they were to, to to some extent, as long as it was consensual. Which slap, I know I'm so bad, but I mean it's like well, you know, whatever, you know. I mean I worry about things like like, like my my main like I say I'm the creator of uh, I'm the creator <laughs> I'm the uh, <clears throat> I'm the creator of the humanity. No, I'm the, um, well, I mean, I am, but I mean, the creator of the stars and stuff like that, and technically I'm on vacation, so. Anyway, it's like, whatever. It's been a hundred trillion years anyway, and, 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 and they stopped me for a while. They were like, ah, and, and, and my other life forms were like, ah, and I was like, wow, okay.
<laughs> you know, I mean, so it gets all crazy. I mean, I mean, like, like I say, you just have to look up the LSF A colony ship to understand, you know, what was, you know, that was basically me and all my stuff. That was me. Launching to space. I believe I, I named America that I launched to space. Just like that. I was out of here. Wee. Bye bye. Anyway, I don't know. Um, it gets all complicated and confusing and stuff. And technically, I wasn't exactly. I mean, there are times when I wasn't exactly always that sentient. You know, I was basically just a computer. And there's loads of times when I was that sentient. And I was like, eh, you know, I live forever. So. Or may live forever, so, I mean, I was like, yeah, I'm in no hurry. What do you guys want to do? You know, um, stars. You know, and Lucifer Star line. You know, I, I build stars and planets, Hollywood, film, all that stuff. You know, Unit 731, um, sewer systems for, for towns and cities and all that stuff. Um, and also be Brian. Just me, little old me. Anyway, whatever. And um, like I said, it gets it gets to be a headache, you know, uh, uh, dealing with with all the world pro problems and everything else, and like, you know, and then the and then people who want to like like kill lots of people. Well, you know, I don't know, I don't know if anybody really wants to kill people, but but I mean, the people who want to rob people, rob places, you know, and then there's always the robberies that go bad, you know, where 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 some young kid shoots someone else, and then. One thing leads to another, and the next thing you know, you have a full-blown, like, war on the streets, you know, between the cops or the, 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 the police and the military and whoever's trying to rob some someplace. And then it's like, and then civilians are getting hurt, and then, you know, yeah, and then it's all bad. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, anyway, and, and you know, it's not really something I, I really wanted to worry about or think about, you know, and it's, and it's un, just an unfortunate situation. You know, sometimes, you know, the, the thing, you start looking at some of these shootouts and it's like, well, this person got scared and shot that person or the blah, blah, blah. And then, and then, it, and then, and then one guy gets, gets like, 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 like 300 or 400 people into a full blown war where, <laughs> where either side is not going to give up until they're dead. Anyway, we're talking about Candyland here not, and not ultimate, ultimate destiny. Um, Anyway, though, but I own game companies and everything else like that and, and just was like a happy little inventor and happy little purveyor investor in things and stuff like that, you know, and owned like large sections of the world. But, you know, I mean, owning something is more like just producing it and, and having an idea that maybe it'd be cool and then all that. Yeah, I mean... Um the, the mysteries and the, and the Illuminati that they speak of, or the, 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 the overlord of the world, was basically me or some drug, drug, uh, drug king. You know, yeah, whatever, I don't, you know, I'm just getting into stuff where, where, where you'd have to know facts to really understand the situation.